What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new terrifying video on my terrific channel. Are any of you lads or lasses hungry? Because today we are going to be reading Tasteful Body. This is a story by a Korean webcomic. Oh, I really need to replace this light bulb, dude. It keeps flickering like crazy. It's really making me scared. Anyways, as I was saying, guys, this comic is by a Korean web artist known as Chung Bori. Now, this comic is about food, so if you guys are hungry, I recommend maybe waiting until the comic is over before you start eating. You may or may not lose your appetite. Anyways, before we get started, guys, I want to give a quick shout-out to the sponsor of today's video, the Quid app. Quid, of course, is the best and most popular app used to download and collect stickers that you can actually text and send to your friends. All you gotta do is download the app, create your account, and you are good to go to start opening packs and collecting cool stickers, gifts, cards, 3D figures, and it's all free. They have shows like Game of Thrones, Rick and Morty, Five Nights at Freddy's. They even have YouTubers on here, guys. Now, the real question is, um, hello, quit. Why am I not in here? Hello? But if you guys are looking for a fun and delightful app where you can download and collect stickers and actually send them to your friends and show off how cool you are, download the Quid app today. Or tonight, depending on what time you watch this video. Holy crap. I don't know if I got a loosen this or what? Oh crap! <sighs> bada bing bada boom, problem solved. All right, we begin our story on a slice of pizza. That's a good start, okay. <laughs> it's pizza, I mean, how scary can it be? Why does eating good food feel so good? And why is it that I get so depressed after I finish eating? We now see that slices of the pizza have disappeared as the person speaking most likely has eaten most of them. Well, it's because I know that I'm getting fatter as I eat this. We see that the voice is from a woman who has devoured the entire pizza, clearly talking about her weight being an issue in her life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is from the special horror series, Tasteful Body. I mean, honestly, like if you're just listening to the title, Tasteful Body, like, I don't know, like I hope people are not eating other people in this. We've already seen enough of that. <laughs> I want to eat salty, sweet, spicy, and greasy foods. Chicken pizza, ham and cheese, burger beef, pork kimchi stew. But today, once again, I'm holding back. She's holding back? Okay, what's the deal? Since I'll never be able to lose weight if I eat any of that stuff. <sighs> the woman sighs as she holds back her appetite and chooses not to indulge herself in food. Well, that's good. Okay, so I guess we're kind of seeing like a brief picture into what this woman's life has been like. It's looking pretty clear that she's kind of struggled with maybe eating too much. And now I guess we're getting the hint that she's trying to cut back. Are you going to stick to that diet? You've probably lost enough weight now. You wouldn't say that if you saw my belly fat. I've got to lose more. Two women working at a cafe seem to be talking. She thinks I should stop. She clearly hasn't seen the real me. Why don't you go on a diet with me, Minji? Uh, I like eating too much to give it up. Whenever I try, I always end up relapsing and eating like a pig, so I'd rather just not even bother. Like last night, I mixed three packs of ramen with four eggs and some rice for dinner. Uh, you need to stop binge eating like that. Hey, you two, the pig sisters. Just then, the manager calls out to the two girls chatting. Isn't your break time over? Time to get back to work. S sorry, boss. This is why you two are fat, because you're so lazy. Hmm. The manager insults the two girls clearly agitating them. He's so nice to the thin girls, but a total dick us. But why is it that he always calls me a pig when I'm with Minji? I may not be thin, but I'm not as fat as her anymore. Hmm. Yeah, dude, what the heck? I mean, like, I guess she was a little bit heavier before, but regardless of your weight, guys, it's still rude and a dickish move to talk about weight like that. Ugh. Gosh darn stress. It's at times like these that I'd love some good food. A nice big dish of white rice with soft boiled egg, some red pepper paste, sesame oil, and some herbs chopped up and mixed together. And for dessert, devouring an entire milk cream filled roll cake with my bare hands without even cutting it up. Mm. That sounds pretty good, the food. I'm not really the dessert. I don't know, I never really like Twinkies. What about you guys? Oh, should I watch some mukbangs? Hmm, click. The woman browses on her computer and opens up a mukbang. And if you guys don't know what a mukbang is, it's basically a Korean eating show where people eat in front of a camera for your pleasure. She opens up to a man stuffing his face with a burger or a sandwich of some sort. <laughs> Essentially just videos of people eating. Most of the time, I just watch people online. We're seeing different depictions of people eating food. The girl must be struggling so much internally. But mukbang has now become so popular that now it's even on public TV stations, which shows how interesting people are. 
far in watching others eat. I started watching this because it made me feel better watching someone else eat, but it's surprisingly addictive. So here's what I'll be eating today, says a voice from the computer screen as she watches. I guess it satisfies people to see someone else enjoying lots of tasty food. I like how he casually eats. He looks so good eating. I feel just full watching him, but people only say that if the ones eating are thin. If Minji or me back when I was fatter were to do this, people would probably say, no wonder you're a fat ass. Stop eating, you pig. Food from convenience stores is so good. The most popular people doing mukbangs are all good looking and thin. Like take this girl, for example, who suddenly appeared out of nowhere, but jumped up in the ratings in no time. Hey guys, this is Lofu. Tonight, I'm going to have a late night snack. I'll be keeping it simple. Eight packs of black ramen. How can she be so thin when she supposedly does four of these high calorie mukbang shows every day? Holy crap, dude. Eight packages of black ramen? Yeah, the one person? How? I can't even eat that many. I can't even eat half of that. Now we're gonna have some mango. How can she eat all that? She'll probably throw it all up later. The other mukbang vloggers do like four hours of exercise per day. What about you, Lofu? How is she so thin after eating like that all the time? I guess it's just the genes, haha. <laughs> like I've got this friend who basically never exercises and yet her whole family is super thin. I heard that vlogger Benz only eats a lot for these shows, but you're the real deal, Lofu, ha ha ha. How is she so pretty and thin no matter what she eats? <laughs> The woman continues eating the black noodles on her show. I'm so jealous of Lofu, frowny face. The girl watching is clearly affected. Thanks for the support. ID, sugar sweet. Oh, okay, so that's Lofu thanking one of the viewers, I guess for maybe throwing in a donation or something, and the ID of the person his name is sugar sweet. I'm so jealous too. If only I had her genes. Flashback. Back to when the girl was a little bit heavier. Hey, fatty! My friends are coming over tonight, so go out somewhere and don't come back until tonight. How am I supposed to tell them that you're my sister? I know she's our daughter. But what the hell is wrong with her? She's got absolutely no control. Doesn't she know that gluttony is a sin? If only I had a daughter that I could buy pretty clothes and do makeup for. Nothing fits her and she just stuffs herself with food. Oh, funk off, you freaking ridiculous, stereotypical, no-life parents. People like these are not role models, guys. And you should never listen or accept advice that gives you the impression that being yourself is not right. Obviously, it's not good to indulge yourself in an unhealthy state. But this kind of approach and this kind of kind of mindset to deal with these kind of problems is never a good thing, guys. At least I don't believe in it. Jeez, why does it seem like you get fatter every time I see you? How are you ever going to get married later? Ew, she totally smells like crap. Honestly, how can someone have no self-control like that? Like, how lazy do you have to be? Can someone tell her to look in the mirror? Maybe that'll stop her. It seems we're seeing a box open up of some kind of food. <laughs> <laughs> the girl cries as she hears these remarks. Tears roll down from her cheek. Thanks for joining my fan club. ID, Mr. Hot Dog. Oh, well yeah, I would love to have a guy named Mr. Hot Dog in my fan club. Who wouldn't? I'm kicking you out for swearing. ID, Bit Fat Liar. All done. Now, to digest all this food, I'll talk to all of you guys until later tonight. Holy crap, dude, she actually finished all the food. Holy moly. Damn, she actually ate everything. This girl once ate 10 burgers, lol. I bet my left hand, she probably throws up after doing this. Dude, Lufo never throws up. For anyone out there worrying about whether I'll throw up after all that, just keep watching. This is live streaming, and you'll see that I don't go to the bathroom. You're so pretty, Lufo. Since I just had ramen for tomorrow morning's show, I think I'll have rice. Is her family rich or something? How can she just stay at home and eat all day? And it doesn't seem like she works out either. Ah, I want some ramen too. Rice with short ribs, fried chicken, a sugar-coated donut with some toast covered with Nutella and peanut butter, creamy garlic pasta, spicy and chewy cheese, rice cakes, cold noodles and fried beef, a caramel macchiato? The thoughts of delicious sweets and goodies and food fill the mind of the girl. Jeez, I don't know about you guys, but if I was craving all that, let alone if I was even hungry, I mean, my mind runs pretty similar. I can't sleep if I'm super hungry either. Clench. I have to resist. The next day. Hmm. If only I could at least smother it all in dressing. Click. Click. Just then. Whoosh. Uh-huh. She turns around and notices the woman. Huh? Uh, um. Excuse me. The woman turns around. Are you... Lofu? As she reaches out to the woman, she drops her grocery list. From the online eating show? I... 
I must be nuts. Ah, why did I stop her when I look like this? I better just say I'm a fan and walk away. Um, how can you eat so much without ever putting on any weight? Oh, jeez, so much for asking her one question and walking away. It's so unfair. We see the grocery list on the ground as the girl continues talking to Lofu. Clearly, one priority has taken over the other. Lofu appears to not be saying anything. Ah. Uh, what am I saying? But Lofu seems to have a grin on her face now. A lot of people ask me how I eat so much and still stay thin. I've seen a lot of comments like she probably doesn't sleep and exercises in secret or throws up after eating. She must be sick. It must be jeans. And then, scene change. We are now apparently in Lofu's apartment. I guess she invited her over to talk. I know I said I was a fan of her show, but why did she bring me to her house just to talk about herself when we just met. Yeah, dude, okay, maybe this is where the creepy part comes in. There may be times even off the air when I eat so much that it almost makes me feel like I'm going to explode, but I've never thrown up even once. Ah, uh, then it must just be your jeans. Wow, look at how thin her arms and legs are. I'm so jealous. Are you jealous? She asks as she stuffs a little piece of I don't know, a grape or something in her mouth. Then, actually, there's this diet pill that some Chinese company is currently developing in secret. And this is the main ingredient. She sticks out her hand with a piece of cloth and something in it. Now, they dilute this and make it into a pill, but I had to eat it raw since I was one of the first people to participate in the clinical trials. What's that? It looks like tree bark. Can't you tell? By taking this just once, you'll never gain a single pound for the rest of your life. This is the reason that I I'm thin now after being morbidly obese before. This usually goes for a very high price on the market. But if you can keep it a secret and live your life away from your family and friends, I'll give it to you for free. Uh-huh. What's she talking about? This doesn't even feel real. Is it a pyramid scam? Oh my gosh, dude, I don't know if she can trust her. Like, what? You, you know, this is where you never accept, like, a random drug or antibiotic from a stranger where you don't know what benefits you're gonna get. Let alone, it's still in the clinical trials. That's a big red flag right there. Am I dreaming? Just then, we see another flashback to that same box of food from before. People say it's foolish to wish to eat as much as you want and still be thin, but there's a girl right in front of me who does just that. I feel like I'm being put under a spell. I'm already living away from my family since we don't get along well, and I don't have any friends to tell anyway. All right. She clenches one fist, but accepts the unknown drug. If I can be like you, I'll take it. Sure. <laughs> if you're going to be thin, you should be able to eat whatever you want to. Plop. She drops the drug into her hand. That little dark, suspicious looking fragment tasted salty, a little bit off-putting, like dried fish jerky. Later on, tap, 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 a girl walks down the street. After that, I started getting thin, almost like a dream. Holy crap, dude, it worked, Is th that's her? Holy, wow. By taking this just once, you'll never gain a single pound for the rest of your life. This is the reason that I'm thin now after being morbidly obese before. I can't believe I got this thin just after one month without even having to exercise and still eating whatever I want. The girl seems so happy that now I guess her diet doesn't matter. She can eat whatever she wants and she's still losing weight. I won't ever be stressed about what I eat again. I won't be depressed about people mocking me and calling me fat. <sighs> I'm happy. Sk, sk, sk. Oh, dude, great. We got the classic old ska sound, man. Anytime we hear the ska, 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 we know that something bad is about to happen. I really did get unbelievably thin. Huh? Sk. And it just kept going. Holy, she's, she's becoming a skeleton. Look out, what? Her hair's falling out. Oh my gosh. No. No. Oh my god. Dude, I knew it, dude. I actually thought this was gonna happen to her. I actually... Yep. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You should never accept an unknown drug from someone you don't know. After 33 days, I started losing weight. My body underwent the most radical changes. <laughs> I tried to eat as much as I could to stop this, but my body was too weak to even take the food in. <coughs> and since I couldn't eat, I got thinner even more quickly. Tick. It appears that she's become so thin that she can't even eat any food on her own anymore, guys. I can't go to the hospital looking like this. Everyone will stare at me and laugh at me, and they'll tell my family I can't allow that. This is all because of that big lofu. Oh my gosh, dude, she is looking horrendous. After her tremendous rise to fame in the online world, lofu suddenly vanished without a trace, and without the strength to even lift a finger, 
Laying here as I listened to the clock tick away, I finally realized something as I clung to my final moments of life, eating those nauseatingly high calorie meals at least four times a day, from dawn to dusk. Lofu wasn't eating like that because she wanted to. She... 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 Thud as the last bit of life leaves her body. Oh my god. Goodness. Later on, you know that chubby girl that lives in 606? There was a fishy, musty smell coming from there a few days ago, but today it's fine. Oh, some people came to take her stuff away. I guess that's why the smell's gone. What the heck did she have in there? Well, from the looks of it, we see three men with hats on, appearing to be covering their identities, holding some bags of... Oh gosh. They seem to be taking away what looked like a bunch of beef jerky. Oh my, that's her! Wow, making beef jerky at home? It must have gone bad because of the weather. Yeah, I guess so. Ah! Oh. You said you wanted to be like me, right? Well, rip. You can. As long as you'll live, you'll never gain a single pound. Oh man, we see Lofu explaining wearing a black dress, holding the drug again, and in her last moment, oh, here, she's looking, oh man, dude, I think the same thing happened to her. Now eat, drink, and be thin. And that's the end of the story. Holy crap, guys, wow. So the beef jerky product thing that she gave her was actually dried up people that died because they just became beef jerky. This makes me question whether or not I ever want to eat beef jerky again. I don't know about you guys. Like I said, I told you don't watch this while eating. Once again, guys, thank you to Quid for sponsoring this video, guys. If you haven't already, please click the link down below in the description to download Quid or at least check it out, okay? Just click the link, take a look. It really helps me out and lets them know that you guys came from me. But yeah, guys, holy wow. This story, wow. I really liked how the story took a very dark and twisted turn. Also, there was a lot of backstory and back and forth flash Flashbacks from the present and the past and seeing what that all led up to was really eerie. I would have never guessed that this drug was actually like a person that dried up and died. I don't know, she said it was from some Chinese company manufacturing this. And then later we see some guys in caps and wearing like disguises to cover their identity taking her body away. So that tells me that this thing is really big, like it's a big conspiracy thing happening. You feed someone this, I mean even just a tiny piece and boom, you're, you're dead. The Chinese are taking over guys now i'm just kidding guys that's obviously not the theme i'm just joking but yeah guys let me know what you think of this story down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are having a great day or night until next time eat drink and be thin